Eagle Time. Hi, welcome back to Eagle Time Gaming. Uh, we just getting groped by this businessman. I'm BTP. I'm Jackie. And we're gonna play more of this game. Well, we've met a lot of characters, but we were this we're short a few. Um, we screwed up, and we're not ashamed to admit it. Uh, we I am. Tried, what are you talking about? We tried to give the the death chain letter, and it to Rose because we're like, you know, well. She's gonna die because she's not even on the relationship list. So, and um, she didn't even look at the letter, and she's confiscated it. So now we're triply screwed because, like, how are we gonna show that to anybody else? But it's we have to figure out where it is. And while we're doing this stupid tour, and then yeah, douchebag McGee here is like, when my father hears about this, and starts groping Isabella, and. Uh, we really, we really screwed up with the interior designer. Like, Marianne is so cool, don't you agree? No, she's a jerk and hates us and doesn't want us no, to- No, be... she's just like, she's just like a stoic, like, Scottish lady. And I think she's pretty cool. I like her better than Hannah and Douchebag. And... It's Isabella, sir. Of course, of course. But my point still stands. And with two beautiful ladies here, I'm sure. And I'm sure little Lily here would certainly appreciate it if you remove your pretty hands from her, darling. That was getting tense. The pressure on my shoulder suddenly lifts as soon as those words leave his wife's lips, while the scowl on her face is like a splash of cold water on me. It is also impossible to miss the displeased frown on Miss McCoffle's face. The realization that we might lose the sale because of my outburst dawns on me. Rose will be beyond pissed. I, I think I need to step out for a while. I'll be back. Bowing my head, I mutter quickly in a quick apology and gather my stuff to make a quick exit. It doesn't matter if this place is haunted or not. I've caused trouble and Rose can be quite unforgiving of behavior like this. I'm almost at the door of the parlor when she catches up to me. Isabella, wait! The apprehension must have been quite obvious on my face, because her expression instantly shifts to something gentler. Eyes softer, a fond smile spreading from her lips. Hey, I'm not angry. Really? Really? I wouldn't blame you if you were. I know. I'm sorry I ruined this for you. You're good. You're doing good. Come on. You didn't ruin anything. It's not like we haven't ran into any problems before. If we don't get a deal today, we can always try on a different day. And... look. She hesitates, completely trailing off before shifting her gaze down to her hands. A small gesture to stall. Her fingers are fiddling with the folded piece of paper. It's that stupid letter again. Give us that ghost letter back. My hands stiffen when she gives it back. Yeah! But I take it nevertheless more as an automatic response than any desire to have it back. I'll throw it away if I can. Nope, that's not what your brain says. You only need one more person to give it to. But I have this nagging feeling that one way or another, it'll find its way back to me regardless of what I do about it. Nope, you just give it to one more person, you're done. Rose, this is... You have to let them know about... I know you want us to get this sale so badly. And we've made a lot of plans on how to go about this. I mean... Who wouldn't? This is the first time I've been assigned to a property like this. I've sold plenty of houses before, but nothing like what we have here. It's a beautiful house. I'd love to get one of my own if I ever win the lottery. But I think... Look, here's the thing, Isabella. If we are going to do this, work on something... I don't know, this... big... I need you in top shape. And the way you are now... So, who's taking bets that Rose might be the criminal mastermind in all this? Because she hasn't looked at a letter. Uh, and no, like, she totally looked at the letter, I No, thought. she didn't. She doesn't oh, once looked doesn't at count. it. Oh, doesn't Yeah, because you have to read it, and so she won't even look at it. So I wonder if she's a criminal mastermind behind all this no, stuff. No, I think she's, gonna, she's dead. No. My mind stops. What? Wait. No, I can still work. I just need to get myself together. That's what you said earlier. I let it go because I thought, hey, it's your own body and you should know more than anyone how you feel. But after this, I really think you should take a break. You're... you're kicking me out? No, I'm not. 
Look, all I'm asking is for you to take a seat somewhere. I can see you. And let me handle this for now. You're clearly not yourself, and I honestly could use some time not worrying when you'll fall over or not. The day's not even over, and I'm already feeling the stress. Please, humor me just this once. She clasps her hands together in front of her, eyes pleading for understanding. And I do understand. To some extent. That doesn't mean I'll feel any less awful. Whether at myself or at the unlucky turn the situation has taken, or for her, I really don't know. I promise I'll give you a full report of what happens after. I'll even let you take the lead tomorrow. Fine. Okay. I'll step aside for now. You're upset. A little, yeah, obviously. Hey, you if just got lost a sale. I won't tell the boss about today. You know how he is. Yeah, we need that money. Please don't. I don't want to repeat of the lecture I got during my first assignment. The one with the dead body in the couch that you murdered and put there? He called me a noob. And I don't even know what that means. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, God. Isabella, you poor, you poor Isabella. I'm sorry. <laughs> At the memory, she dissolves into helpless giggles, which I also join in, earning a strange looks from the guests milling about the door. Talking and laughing like this, it's easy to forget any mishaps that happened or the death looming over my head. Yeah, that was a creepy ghost girl. Little things you learn to appreciate, I guess, before your death. So, are we good? I'm still not okay with it, but I did kind of almost screw everything up, so yeah, yeah, Rose is the point. It's better for me to step out of this one for now. I won't be able to help you anyways if I keep getting distracted like this. Maybe I'll just take a walk outside or something while I wait for you to wrap things up. Please, just stay put. I insist. I'm not an invalid, Rose. Oh my god. You clearly have not seen mm -hmm. how you looked earlier. Isabella, you're getting bad. a little whiny. Oh, just now? Color hasn't even returned to your cheeks yet. Just stay here, alright? Don't even think of going anywhere. Let me finish what I'm doing here, and then I'll take you back to Luxembourg myself to have that minor bump checked. At least wait for me to call someone who will fetch you, so, okay? So, so, uh huh. she's going to be alone in the parlor. Mm hmm And there's going to be some spooky stuff happening. Oh, let's get to it. She's gone before I can voice one word of complaint. Now, before the spooky, scary stuff, do you want to go to the journal real quick and see if we've got any, any updates about the profiles or people? Let's do that next. We'll All right, when next we time. Start. Yeah. Left with nothing else to do, I find myself drifting back to the foyer. A few visitors linger in the area, some merely enjoying the afternoon sunlight streaming through the stained glass windows. Others can be seen admiring the priceless antiques decorating the room. One group of elderly gathered some ways opposite of me is occupied in a friendly banter about which one will cost more to buy. Little argument here, an occasional laughter and teasing there. I smile to myself like a crazy person. The conversation reminds me of what I've been missing these past few months. Rose is probably right. I do need a break. I'm talking to myself far too much. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta practice that accent. Mm -hmm. I gotta stop giving you a hard time for that. <laughs> Maybe this afternoon's hangout will help? Speaking of, I should call Ashhole. Oh yeah, Ash! The guy that I, for whatever reason, What's wrong with Ash? She's Ash is great. Because like he makes one comment and I'm just like, screw you. It's a few hours early from what I've told him, but he did ask for a call once I'm done. Oh yeah. I'm in the attic. Okay, Ash, yeah. <laughs> fell for that once. Trick me, fool me once. Besides, on me. I don't have a ride back. He offered, so I might as well take it. Or bribe him into giving me one. Not that he'll ever accept the latter, personal convictions and all. Honestly, if there's something I find admirable in him, despite his tendency to annoy the hell out of me, it's that. Well, whatever way it works, a free ride is still a free ride. There is Rose's offer too, but despite what she says, I know she'll be busy for the rest of the afternoon, especially without me assisting. Bothering her for a favor as small as this is the last thing I want to do right now. A couple of minutes and a few prayers asking for a decent signal later, I the call finally connects and Shit! Up, I'm Ash from Deluxe City. Baggers watch out, can't beat me. Looking for trouble? 
better not lie. I'm a cool dude. Pretty fly for an Asian guy. Soft bomb Ash from the I city. Love I love Ash. Me. Looking for trouble? Better not lie. I I'm want to get with Ash. Dude. I don't care what character we are. We gotta Asian get guy. with Ash. Soft bomb Ash from the It's gotta keep playing. Why is he? What? Beat me. Looking for Shit, how loud is this thing even? Lie. I'm a cool dude. A shop Pretty ringing fills the entire Asian hall. Guy. Disrupting so the pleasant quiet <laughs> It's still I going. Even, I can't even focus. Soon enough, my, okay, my eyes don't around the small crowd before zeroing in on a lone figure crouched behind the same group of old people checking out it's the still going. moments ago. <laughs> so is he, is that his phone ringing like in the room? No, it's, it's definitely it's doing something. It's away from me, fumbling with someone. Oh no, he's there. He's there, yes. He's it's going there. off his ringtone. This is ringtone. Oh my gosh, that's his ringtone. Ringtone. But I don't need to see his face to know who this guy is. Oh, I'll recognize that dumb parka anywhere. Ash, hey, check out this letter I found. In the call, I marched towards him. After what happened today, I'm really not in the mood to deal with this. I adore Ash. Oh my gosh, Ash, you're the best. Ashton Frey! <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you so much. This is great. Uh, thank you for watching Eagle Time Gaming. This episode is going to be a little bit shorter, but... Uh, We're pretty fly for... He's pretty great. Eagle Time. We'll, we'll come back. Pretty fly for Eagle Time. Sup, bum, sup, I can't, I can't. We'll think no. of something. All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, this is... We're going to keep going. This is a fun, fun game. Uh, this is... Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know, it, it does help, and we'd like to know what you think. And also... Uh, what? That's that was just supposed to be like a, a cliffhanger. Okay. Like a also, and then cliffhanger. All right. Right there. Am I gonna cut it? Know. All right. Drink plenty of water. Okay. Cut. <laughs>